Hey, it's David Pingry here at KTM for Upshift Online. Today we're going to talk about the KTM Adventure 1090. Uh, we're going to work over how to change a filter. Now, it's a little more complicated than a dirt bike, but nothing you can't get through on your own. You can certainly take this to a KTM dealer and have them do it. But if you want to do it yourself, we're going to help you get there today. All right, step one is going to be removing the seat. And to do that, we just take our ignition key. That goes in underneath the seat right here. Turn that to the right, and that'll click the seat loose. And pull it right off. All right, our next step is, uh, is going to be nine different Torx 30 bolts we're going to pull out, OK? So there's five of them on this black part of the fairing. You can see the one in the center, two here. There's another one here, and then one just under the front top part. We remove all nine of those Torx 30 bolts, and this entire fairing should pull off. All right, once you got all these bolts out, this fairing should just slide forward and pop off. And then our next step is going to be removing these eight mils that are on either side to get the black part of the fairing off. All right, once all the bolts are out, this last piece of the black fairing, it kind of clips in up front. You just slide it forward, unclip it, and this will pull off. Our next step is going to be the tank. So this is something you want to think about when you are going to do a filter change. Try to run your fuel down a little bit lower. This thing can be very heavy when it's full of fuel. Uh, there's two Torx 40 bolts right here, an Allen head up front, and you're going to need to disconnect your fuel line, and we'll remove the tank. All right, so there's a few things you got to do up top to get this disconnected. This is to your fuel gauge. Simply lift that up, and this should pop right out. These two vent hoses, you can just grab a needle nose and pinch that and these should pop right off. All right, our next step to get the fuel cell off is we need to shut off both pet cocks on the bottom. And then this crossover line allows each side of the fuel cell to equalize. So once those are off, we want to remove that line. Take a needle nose pair of pliers here. You should be able to get these lines to pop right off. We want to do that to both sides. Then we have two more connections here. There's a quick release for the actual fuel line. And then this uh, connector here provides power to the fuel pump. We need to disconnect that as well. All right, so this line here is our quick disconnect fuel line. And this is the power to our fuel pump. We're going to disconnect both of these. Now our tanks should be ready to come off. All right, as you're pulling this off, just kind of rock it back and forth, pull to the back. And be careful that none of these bolts or sleeves fall down into the engine compartment where you can't get to them. All right, with the fuel cell off, we've now exposed the air filter compartment. There's eight six mil bolts that we need to pull off. Once those are out, this will all roll back and expose the filter for us. All right, with our bolts off, this top will just slide back. And here's the filter inside here. To get it off, you want to just pull this back part off. And the whole filter will come out. And this is a, a KTM Power Parts filter. You can see that it's pretty, pretty grimy on this side. So we'll go ahead and replace that, throw in a new one. All right, so we're going to take our new DNA Power Parts filter. And it's going to slide right in there like this. This will go inside, and we'll put our other piece on there to hold it. All right, once the filter's into here, we'll slide this down. And this piece will drop in to hold it in place. New filters installed. And then we can start working backwards to replace all our parts. All right, while we've got uh, the fairings off of this thing, we just want to mention uh, the dust protection kit for your intake system here. This little screen and kit that plugs in here uh, does a great job of filtering out dust and sand if you're going to do a lot of off-road riding. So when you're down to this point, you can simply remove these two screws and access this and place that in if it's something you're interested in. Check out KTM's hard parts catalog. All right, once we've got all eight bolts back on our uh, air filter unit in here, a couple things before we throw the tank on. Make sure that this line here is, is not trapped underneath the tank if you can kind of contain it up here. Uh, otherwise, it's going to get stuffed under the tank. You won't be able to access it. So we're going to put the tank back on. Once you've got the tank back in place, put your bolts back in, connect your lines for your gauge and your vents, and plug everything back together with the fuel lines underneath. All right, once you've got the tank in place, you want to go down below, reconnect your fuel lines, your fuel pump line, 
the crossover line to make sure that uh, all of your fuel lines are together. You come up top, you have your vents on, your gauge is connected. Now you want to secure your tank in place. You've got the one Allen bolt in the front and the two Torx bolts down here below. Okay, once your fuel cell is reconnected, all of your lines are together, it's secured with the bolts, uh, your top fuel cell fairing is going to be next. And remember that that has to slide in. There's a little uh, fitting over the front of the tank and then this will pop into place. Now it's very important the next step here to make sure you get these two eight millimeter bolts in because they're going to be covered by the side fairings once those slide on. So let's get those two eight millimeter bolts in, then we'll slide the side fairings on. All right, so once we've got our eight millimeter bolts tightened on the top part of the fairing, this is the next piece to go on. And I want you to just recognize that there's a one directional slip here. So this needs to come in from the front and go backwards. So line that up into there and the rest of it should slide into place. Now you're ready to fasten these bolts as well as the one that's in front. Okay, our last step is to throw the seat back on. That just slides into place and pops in on the back. Uh, a couple of things to remember, just a couple of tips. Always make sure you've gone back under to your crossover cable or, or, or tube there and opened both petcocks. Uh, the right side houses the gauge, the left side houses the fuel pump. So if one is off, they won't equalize and you're going to run into problems. That's a safety issue. So make sure both of those petcocks are on. And another good tip is make sure you wash it really well before you start pulling things apart. Um, the road grime and grit that can get in there can make things sticky and it just makes the job a lot easier and cleaner if you wash the bike well before you start. So that's it. Uh, now you've got a new filter, you're ready for some more miles in the dirt and uh, ready to get that KTM out on the road. So have fun. Thanks for watching.